Welcome back everyone, thanks for tuning in. Today we got a fun video lined up for you. Who doesn't love chainsaws? Today we're going to be reviewing the Lafelli 40 volt pole saw. Now this is one of the cheaper pole saws on Amazon. I'll let you know if it's worth the money or not, so stick around the end and find out. Hit that intro. Gotta put the old gloves on, it's about, eh, I don't know, 10 degrees here in Minnesota. So this is just the head unit. It does come fully disassembled. It comes with the bar and chain off of it. You gotta put that on, it's super easy. It has one of the, the quick release, or quick adjusts, whatever you wanna call it. I have been using this, that's why it's so filthy. And I gotta test it out for a while before I film on it. So when you get it, the bar and chain are off of it. Let's clean this up real quick. This is kind of like all the other standard battery powered chainsaws. It does have a auto oiler, so it just continuously dribbles oil on the chain. It fills from the top. As you can see here, holds I think two to three ounces. I haven't read the manual all the way yet. Manuals are for firewood, you know what I mean? So one good thing about these chainsaws is they come with the directions of the chain right on the bar, so it's kind of idiot proof. You know, put the chain this way or it will not cut. For all those novice chainsaws out there. See, line it up. All right, so you put the chain on the bar like this. You gotta put the chain over the main sprocket. And then there's two holes here in the bar. You line those up. And this little pin right here, which is the tension adjuster, like so. They're all lined up. Tighten up the tension a little bit, just enough so you can let go of it without it flopping off. So here's the plastic cover. Has one little metal bolt in there. That's really about it that's holding it in here, guys. Like I said in previous battery powered chainsaws, the fact that there's so little holding these things together does make me a little bit nervous. It has one retaining screw and it has the little tensioning uh, tab there. And that's really about it. Kind of like the DeWalt. Same as the DeWalt, only having the one tab that keeps it in place. All right, so you slowly tighten her down until she's snug, and then adjust the tensioner so the chain has a little bit of snap in it, and then tighten her down all the way. There we go. So you just want a little bit of play in the chain. It's a little snap. It's not snapping because it's freaking freezing cold out. Do I have any oil left? Let's check the oil. Yeah, we're good, got about half oil, half full. Now I have it off the head unit just so it's easier to get into the picture, guys. Now it does have a nice articulating head. So this connects to the pole here. It goes down like this, like this, like this. So let's see, one, two. Yeah, four stops. I just use it primarily straight like this, but if you need to, you can get in there like that. Now, to connect it to the pole is fairly simple. The handle's straight like this. There are the two little tabs on the end here. And all you do is just line it, make sure it's straight. And you pop it right in, Boop. like so. And then you screw down the connector. Give it nice and snug, and that's it. Now. Here's the charger. It comes as mounting holes on the back. You can hang it on the wall if you'd like. I usually don't hang mine on the wall. I have a shelf with all my chargers on it in the house. It has a light here, three indicators. Uh, solid red is charging. Solid green is fully charged. If it's flashing red and green, it means there's de defective, there's an issue with the battery. Or if you have two solid bars, that means it's overheating. It means it's overheated. The battery just 
slaps on like that. There is a fan in here. Let's see, see of course it's fully charged. So the fan, you can't hear it. But there's a fan. features about this pole saw is the easy extend. It's not like the Ryobi, you have to take it all apart and put the extra pole in, screw it all back together. One flip up of the switch, boop, slide it out to your desired length, lock it back down, that's it. Super, super easy. All right, where's my branch? As you guys can see, that's about, I don't know, two and a half, just under three inches. And I cut that, no problem. After remember, guys, this is Minnesota. This is frozen wood. These trees have not started to come out of hibernation yet from the winter. Like I said, it's about zero degrees out right now. And uh, it cuts pretty well. Definitely better than the Ryobi. Uh, the pole is more sturdier too, I've noticed. All right guys, just because I don't have a ton of branches to cut up, we're gonna see how many cuts we can make in the six by six post. Yes, there's holes in it, but wood's expensive, so we're just gonna chop this up. We have a fully charged up 2.5 amp hour battery.
Alright, 10 cups, let's see where we're at here. Man, it's freezing out here too, guys. I think with the wind chill, it's gotta be around zero. Oh, finally down one bar. You guys see that in my jacket? One bar. Alright, guys, I'm freaking freezing. Um. Alright, guys. Here's a rundown on the LaFelli, it's hard to say, 40 volt outdoor power equipment. So their whole thing is, you know, one 40 volt battery get the job done. They have the pole saw, they have the chainsaw, I think they have a blower, they have a string trimmer with a bunch of different attachments. Um, I think they have a couple of other things too, but I'm not super familiar with their line, just this. Uh, right now I think this is going for around 160 on Amazon with two day shipping. Comes with a 2.0 battery. I did check, it is 18650 cells in this. Um, but I was actually quite surprised with the runtime. So when I did the, my testing outside, I chopped up some branches on my tree, they're around three inch uh, branches. Then I also did 10 cuts in a six by six pressure treated post and it drained it down one bar. It says it's full now because actually today it's 60 degrees. Last week, zero, this week, 60, freaking crazy. Anyways, I honestly wasn't expecting much out of this, but I gave it one consumer thumb up because the pole is all one system, it just expanded out. You don't have to mess with multiple poles like you do with the um, Ryobi. What else? Let's see, it comes with a 10 inch Oregon bar and chain. What am I forgetting? It weighs uh, right around eight pounds. I think it expands just under 10 feet, like nine, nine feet, I believe. Um, what else am I forgetting here? I don't know the main company who makes this, but I will tell you that it's almost the exact same as the Lynx. From Harbor Freight. And also, what was the other one? It's very similar to Sun Joe, too, that green one from Home Depot, I believe. So don't get mad at me for saying that. I honestly not sure who the main company who makes this is. If, whether it's Lafelli or if it's made by Sun Joe or uh, Lynx, they're all kind of similar. Just like how Home Depot, you have uh, Greenworks, Cobalt, um, there's another one too, like Power Starter, they're all made by the same company. Uh, one consumer thumb up. I was impressed by the runtime that I could do that much work in zero degree weather here in Minnesota. So not a bad little pole saw guys, go check it out. I'll leave links down below if you wanna um, hop on Amazon there and help out the channel with my affiliate links. Every little cent helps. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I always try to get back to you guys. I feel like I'm forgetting something here. Lots of good videos coming up guys. I have tons of head to heads coming up. I also got some miter saws I gotta review. I have all kinds of stuff. So stick around, I ain't going nowhere guys. So until next time, thanks for watching. You guys have a blessed day. Thank you so much. See ya.